we've got the sun in Libra. We are slowly winding down Libra season here. Let's see, it is the 18th. Closely creeping up on Scorpio season. Closely creeping up on this eclipse season. Oh my gosh, this eclipse season is going to be something else. And you know, another thing that I wanted to touch base on too is, you know, these eclipses, the first one is the 25th and then the second one is on election day, November 8th. I mean, you just can't get any crazier. The best way I can describe it is, and it's like this always, there's going to be one side that's not going to be happy, but I feel like the election results are going to be a shocker for all of us. I don't care who you vote for, what you stand for. I think that we're all going to be shocked in some manner or form, you know, with, with some type of result that comes forth from this. I think it's going to be very telling. And then I wanted to talk about, too, this sun in Libra that's in the 10th house, which is our community house, and work, or I call it kind of like a community house because, you know, when people go to work every day or how they show up in their career is kind of like community, like building community. And with the sun in that house and in a good relationship balance sign, and the sun also, it doesn't just represent our ego, it represents our vitality. So another way that I like to look at this interpret it is our relationships are getting a boost of vitality, some, some longevity, a little bit of energy pumped in them to where people feel like they can continue to move forward, right? And then with the moon in Leo, in the eighth house, I feel like tonight might be a good night to spend with your significant other, you know, maybe cuddle up and do a little bit of movie watching or cuddle up and see what happens type of night, you know, that type of thing. But yeah, I definitely feel like anytime the sun transits through a house, we can kind of use that vitality aspect of the sun and you know give that use that aspect 